My dear child, welcome me into your home today. Open up every door and window of your life and let the sanctity of my blessing flow through, bringing healing to your soul and peace to your heart. I have already purified your space from all imperfections, breathing new life into every corner. With my voice, I have cleared the clutter of your thoughts, sweeping away the remnants of your past sufferings. You are now cleansed and forgiven. Remember, this does not mean you are without flaw or that you will never face temptation again. You are my child, and I cherish you dearly, but you are also human. The journey will continue, and you will persist in this struggle, holding tightly to my hand. Embrace the challenge of seeking me daily, loving me with all your heart and soul, and dedicating your entire life to me. In doing so, I promise always to be by your side, ready to support you and help you advance even if you stumble along the way. I know you don't sin intentionally. I understand that in battling your adversaries you may sometimes fall. In those moments they might mock and attempt to humiliate you, seeing you tarnished once again. But in those times lift your eyes to me. I have sent you into this battle, and it is my role to cleanse, strengthen, and forgive you anew. Persist despite any opposition. Your adversaries are relentless and unrepentant, driven by envy of the victory I cloak you in, and they will use every tactic at their disposal to undermine the confidence you feel today. But you hear my voice, you grasp my words, you love your family and desire their success, knowing well that this requires fighting, working hard, clinging to your faith and believing in my promises. You will receive immense blessings, and your enemies are aware of this. They aim to thwart you. They once saw you as weak and never anticipated your turn to me, your admission of weakness and sin. That's precisely why I have decreed your forgiveness and prosperity. I am with you every day. No force will prevail against you. None will humiliate or overpower you. And should you fall, I will surely lift you up again. This is my unwavering promise. Your entire household, even those far away, will come to experience my presence in a profound and supernatural way. When days feel dreary and a heavy cloud looms over you, when you feel the urge to shout, to flee, to abandon everything, speak to me. Close your tearful eyes. Let me wipe your tears with my holy mantle. Hear my voice, but also share your heart. Speak without fear. Express your feelings openly. Do not worry that I will chastise you for your words. In such moments, it is your soul reaching out for me, seeking my presence, yearning to be filled with my love and understanding. My dear child, there are moments when the best thing you can do is find a quiet place, kneel down, and rest in my embrace. It's okay if you find yourself at a loss for words or if you prefer silence. Just be still, feel my presence, and recognize that I am your God, your Father, and your ever-faithful friend. I understand all that you've endured and how deeply you need to find rest. Know that I am always here, ready to replenish you with life, love, and peace. Come and experience this for yourself. Everything takes on new meaning and value when you spend time with me. Join me and bask in my love and affection. I am the source of true peace and the one who can bring clarity to the challenges you face. I am aware of each one and rest assured nothing is beyond my control. I'm looking after you, but it's important for you to relax and let faith and trust rejuvenate your spirit. My child, my love for you is immense. You cannot fathom the depth of love I have ready to pour over you, to wash away the sorrows 
that have brought tears to your eyes. I'm here to heal you, to clear your mind and heart of confusion and the painful memories that weigh heavily on you. Come to me, my child. I'm the cure for your suffering. My love is so profound that it will help you realize that nothing in this world is more significant than our relationship. I am your creator, your provider, and I've never and will never leave your side. Feel my presence now and find solace in my love. I am currently soothing your heart. I hold you within my loving embrace, and I promise never to let you fall. I love you immensely. Your future is filled with abundance. Lift your eyes and see the path ahead, and meet it with bravery and resolve. Do not fear or falter. Accept your blessings with love and humility. Many hesitate to receive them, feeling unworthy or unprepared, letting opportunities slip by, only to later lament that I have not answered them. But remember, with my sacrifice, your sins have been washed away. You carry an attitude of sincere faith. You have learned to love genuinely. This truth transforms and liberates. My love has deemed you worthy. Do not dwell on past mistakes. Do not concern yourself with the judgments of others when your Heavenly Father has already forgiven you. If you've sought forgiveness and people have withheld it, if you've atoned for past mistakes and still face accusations, leave these burdens to me. I will handle each person with justice. You may find it necessary to distance yourself from these accusers, even if they are friends or relatives. You are progressing, moving forward into your future, while they stagnate, bound to their failures. They had their chance to move on, but chose to ignore my call, indulging in folly, shamed by their association with me, preferring to please others rather than embrace my path. This is why they cannot support your growth. If you continue to surround yourself with such negativity, their bitterness and blame might drag you back into guilt for past deeds. I do not wish this for you. I want you to stand strong in your faith regardless of what others say. Make time each day to enter my presence. Don't miss our vital meeting. Even a few minutes from your busy day to listen to my guidance can transform your spirit. Commit to this practice. This strength I offer is crucial for you. You need my Holy Spirit. Every time you kneel, surrender your will to me and dedicate your life to me, I will replenish you. You will find yourself in a realm where miracles happen, where pain turns to joy and sadness to happiness. Prepare your space, open your arms, clean and organize your home, for a bountiful harvest is on its way to bring immense joy to you and your family. Listen closely, just for a moment. Observe what I instruct. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be dismayed. For I, the Lord your God, am with you wherever you go. This has always been true because of our mutual love. My presence in your life is your reward for loyalty. You haven't sought wealth for its own sake. Instead, you aim to break the chains of poverty and illness that bind your loved ones. You wish to spare them suffering. Your efforts, your dedication, your honesty and patience, none of these go unnoticed. You consult me in every decision. My word is ever present, ready on your lips as you rise each day. For this, I grant you wisdom and strength, ensuring that all you undertake is prosperous and fruitful. You will experience supernatural abundance, which will also overflow to bless others. They will see you as a person of value, humility, and great wisdom. Remember these words. Be strong and courageous. Strive diligently. Embrace this renewal of spiritual fullness. Face whatever challenges arise, and do not fear the fear itself. 
behind those daunting emotions lie tremendous blessings that will bring plentiful provision. I am your omnipotent God. If you love me, you will trust in my promises. I don't deal in half measures. I will bless you abundantly. Even when you doubt your own courage, I am here to shift your perspective and remind you of your worth. For I've bestowed upon you the power to overcome great adversities. Yes, even to trample scorpions and serpents underfoot. Rest assured, no harm will come your way, because my spirit is your protector. Even on days when fatigue and ailment weigh you down, remember that in my presence you will find healing, comfort, peace, and refuge. You can always seek solace in my arms, for no matter how much you achieve or how far you go, you will always be my cherished child. I am forever ready to soothe your worries and envelop you in my love. Come boldly and confidently into my embrace to be fortified further. I love you deeply. Do not hold back your tears, for they are a testament to the deep emotions stirring within you, like tumultuous waves crashing inside. We both understand that there are many storms raging in your mind, and your soul feels weary. With me, you need not mask your feelings. Speak openly and honestly. Your sincerity is precious to me. Your tears are like those that wash my feet. When you cry out in your anguish, it moves me profoundly. You cry from pain, from the overwhelming surge of emotions that shake your life unexpectedly. You cry when you're pushed to your limits, when you encounter insurmountable barriers, and frustration halts your progress, compelling you to kneel in despair. You may feel defeated, but this is not true failure. Rather, it is the crucial moment of realization that only through my guidance can you overcome the barriers ahead. Today marks the beginning of your liberation. Embrace this day, for it is not just another moment. It is the dawn of your newfound freedom. Step forward with the knowledge that my love and power accompany you, transforming obstacles into pathways and sorrow into joy. Remember, in your weakest moments, my strength is made perfect. You no longer need to endure such deep humiliation or bear so much disdain. If you truly believe that once the King of Heaven walked this earth and endured unimaginable pain and suffering for you, if you believe that I sacrificed my life on the cross so you could be truly free and fully alive, then embrace the courage I am granting you today. Feel your spirit being healed by my power. Today I bestow upon you the strength to rise and distance yourself from those things that bring you so much pain and suffering. Go forth with confidence to face the day. I fill you now with peace and resilience. No one can take this joy from you. If you wish to speak, I'm here beside you. If you need to come back into my embrace and cry, do not hesitate, for I will welcome you with open arms filled with my love. Give me your heart and your time. Place your desires and dreams in my hands. You may be overwhelmed with worry, but I urge you to calm down and absorb my words deep within your soul. I will not fail you. I promise. You have entrusted me with your life and loyalty. You have given me a significant place in your spirit. My words permeate your thoughts, reassuring you that your answers are near. Reflect on this. If I have never failed you before, why would I fail you now? My love for you grows each day, sweeter than honey, more beautiful than any flower, more real than the sun that warms you by day. Consider those around you, living in shadows of sadness and despair. I'm just as close to them. I knock on their doors, my voice calls out to them, yet they have grown weary of listening. 
Those who led them astray have failed them. They placed their trust in humans, and now feel disillusioned, mistakenly thinking I have let them down too. They close their ears and reject my declarations of love, blaming me for the failings of others. But you, you listen to me. You call on me and I assure you I am right by your side. Our relationship is real and true. You understand that humans can fail, and you do not compare me with them. When you face attacks, when people speak ill of you, reject and wound you, claiming I am punishing you, they will one day answer for their words before my holy throne. But now, focus on your eternity. Forgive those who harm you, and look to me, your Heavenly Father. Do not let your challenges and disappointments snuff out your faith or drive you away from me. I love you here and now, just as you are. Offer me your regrets and mistakes. I will cleanse your guilt and envelop you in my mantle of goodness. Together, we will accomplish great things. Never question my perfect love. I loved you. I love you. And I will continue to love you forever. Tell me you believe me. This week, you will demonstrate remarkable courage. You are called to lead your family forward, and you will indeed prevail. With all your might, you will knock on every door and contend fiercely, for I am orchestrating all things, aligning situations and people exactly where they need to be. As you listen to me now, you will sense my power aiding you. Your victory is already secured, I have won it for you and will place it directly into your hands. However, it is essential that your faith is reignited. Continue to trust and importantly, believe in yourself as well. You've endured insults and humiliation, even from those within your family. Recognize that these attacks stem not only from malice but from envy as well. They see the unique spark within you and know that something special resides in your spirit. Yet, do not harbor grudges or entertain thoughts of vengeance. If this week brings unexpected challenges, if adversaries stand in your way, if your efforts to provide are met with stress, pray for those who seek to harm you. They desire to see you lose hope and abandon the progress you've made and the plans I have laid out for you. In response, I am dispatching a formidable legion of angels to confront your foes. Continue steadfastly, my child. Do not bow your head. My presence accompanies you, shielding you from harm and ensuring no defeat. Seek me in the morning, cry out in the night, and rely on my strength. I will journey alongside you, guard you at dawn, and stand with you as you rise to face each day. This week, I have decreed immense blessings for you and your family. The choice to believe and persevere, or to retreat, rests with you. But I know you well, and I anticipate your decision. You will hold fast to my promise. At an unexpected moment this week, your victory will manifest. Should you need me, I am here. Approach confidently whenever you need to speak. My continued words and actions will affirm my deep love for you. You will emerge from any trial triumphantly and powerfully. As you pass through fires, you will not be scorched. No flame will burn you. When adversity arises, you will not drown in turbulent waters. No one can take your peace, your faith, or your blessing from you. Revisit this message whenever you need reassurance. These words are crafted to soothe your spirit and clear away the shadows that may loom around you. You have cried out, and I am responding. You've entered my presence at just the right moment, seeking clarity. And I am here to speak directly to you through my Holy Spirit. To assure you of my attentiveness, know that I've heard Every word you whispered in solitude, you've expressed feeling overwhelmed, questioning the worth of your struggles, doubting if there's any reason to continue. Hear me clearly now. Do 
not be troubled by these thoughts. They do not anger me. I love you immensely, and what I hold for you is a love that is pure, powerful, and holy, genuine, tender, solely yours, eternal and unbreakable. No one can take this from you. I'm here to lift you from your despair, to demonstrate my love in such a profound way that you will feel its unique supernatural quality deep within your being, a sensation far surpassing any human emotion. This is not a fleeting flutter of the heart or a temporary sigh of relief. This love is healing, restorative, filling your mind and heart with enduring joy and peace. You will emerge from this ordeal with your head held high, carrying the demeanor of a victor, never again doubting your immense value, love, and protection. The scars of rejection may still pain you, your spirit may reel from neglect, but understand, you are a beautiful soul who was met with disdain when you deserved love and protection. Yet, it is this very love for me that is transforming you. You grasped my hand, rose up, and began a new journey on the right path. And you will not falter again. Ahead lies only success, happiness, freedom, and peace. Continue to fight, for you and your family are in my hands. I have the final say over your fate. Your task is to persevere, maintaining your dignity and refusing to yield to those who seek to degrade you. Recognize me as your sovereign God, your King, your Lord, and your Heavenly Father. You face a sea of challenges that seem poised to overwhelm you, but you must believe in my power and walk firmly over these turbulent waves. You will not falter, you will not drown. My hand is always extended for your rescue. When doubts assail you, cling tightly to me. You can always rely on me. I am forever by your side. Approach me with confidence, knowing I will never turn you away. I will guide you out of your troubles and lead you toward victory, even against the fiercest winds. I love you. I'm infusing you with courage and resolve. Fear nothing. You are graced with my favor. Your victory is woven into my plans. March forward like a warrior destined for triumph. You are not frail. You are fortified. You are never alone. I am with you. I will elevate you as a testament to all, your family and friends, to show that overcoming is not only possible but assured, and they too can conquer their adversaries. Ready yourself for a season of joy where your loved ones will see you as the blessing you are. I have bestowed my grace upon you, anointed you, and set you as a leader for a generation. I will perform miracles through you, visible to many. Yet remain humble. Do not succumb to pride. Keep your heart aligned with my word and treat everyone with kindness and humility. I aim to show my love to the world through you, it is time for the purpose of your life to be fulfilled. Every morning, we have a special appointment, just you and I. Here I am, right on time, by your bedside, eager to be the first voice you hear, the first light that brightens your eyes. I desire for my words to be a gentle spiritual whisper to you, each one inscribing itself on your heart. I am ready for our time together, a moment filled with joy where you can share the highs and lows of your life with me. I know you crave my presence. I am your spiritual sustenance. By inviting me in this morning, I will personally nourish you. I want you to step out of your home fully satisfied, strengthened, and equipped to face the world without fear or hesitation. Cherish these moments we spend together. Later, as you go about your day, you'll meet many who trudge along, weary and despondent. They will marvel at your joy, a beacon of happiness in a sea of bitter hearts. You understand the source of true peace. Your joy springs from the faith you place in me and the fulfillment you feel from our morning conversations. In your room, 
you lay down all burdens where chains are broken. I anoint your head with oil, dressing you in new garments for the day ahead. When you step outside to meet the day's challenges, you move with the swiftness of a seasoned warrior. Your time in prayer is your training ground, a spiritual regimen that builds your strength and equips you to navigate the world's sorrows, to stand firm even when chaos surrounds you, while others around you may succumb to despair and hardship. You will remain unscathed, shielded by my love. Open your home to me daily. Let me enter your sacred space each morning to fill you with my word, to paint a smile on your face, and to grant you the wisdom needed to triumph over life's complexities. Respond to me now. I long to be by your side as you pray, reassuring you that my promises to you are steadfast. I am with you every day. When you speak, I listen. You trust me with your needs, and I envelop you with my blessings. You will not yield to any conflict or adversary. Surrender is not an option. I will not permit it. I am upholding the promise I made to you from the very start. Anyone who attempts to harm you challenges me directly, and thus becomes my adversary. I am the defender of those I love. Hold on to this truth and lift your head high. Do not accept humiliation. You are beyond deserving of such treatment. Even if friends have mocked you, know that I am making a way for their respect towards you to be restored. I fortify your hands for battle, equipping you with my sword and shielding you with my divine protection. My supernatural shield envelops you ensuring victory over any trial through the power of my word. I speak to you with deep affection today, especially knowing the hardships you face. But take heart, for I am providing you the strength to persevere. The enemy, seeing your steadfast faith, will soon retreat. Your family needs your joy and vibrancy, a fervent zest for life that I am reigniting within you. You have many more seasons to enjoy and I am renewing your dreams and aspirations, which will soon become tangible realities within your household. Do not let a doctor's diagnosis define your future. Heed medical advice, but remember that your life is under my care. I will heal you, and you will offer songs of praise for the miracles I'm about to perform in your life. I'm the God of the impossible, the creator of the universe, and you are my chosen child, destined to bear witness to the eternal salvation I offer to all. In my word, you will find the key to unlock the full measure of my blessings for your home. Kneel before me and I will elevate you, granting you the wisdom to steward the blessings I am preparing to send. Do not lose heart. You are on the verge of achieving your purpose and receiving invaluable blessings that no one can take away. You and your family are securely in my hands. You will not falter. No one can overcome you. Draw near to me. Let me touch your heart and soothe your soul as each day begins. I want to dispel the night's sorrow and fill you with joy as the dawn breaks. You've endured sleepless nights, uh, pondering over matters beyond your control. Let me assist you. Allow me the opportunity to strengthen your faith and deepen our relationship so our friendship may flourish. While you approach me with reverence which I cherish, also see me as your friend. Open up about your needs. Share freely. I am here to listen, and your confidences will remain safe with me. I will absolve your sins, casting them into the sea's depths and I will no longer recall your past errors. Every morning when you wake, I offer you the gift of a new day, filled with potential and the opportunity to open the eyes of your soul to life's richness. You are surrounded by blessings, provision, peace, health, spiritual prosperity, 
supernatural abundance and harmony in your family. Begin each day with a heart full of joy and gratitude for these privileges, for you are truly blessed. Today there are many who suffer, who need the comfort and hope that I can provide through you. I'm sending you out to reflect my love and share my powerful, beautiful plan with them. You'll find that your own joy will deepen and your strength will grow as you adopt this mindset of praise and gratitude. My deepest desire is for your happiness, which is rooted in giving me the rightful place in your life, in your obedience, and in your pursuit of me. And in this I find joy in continually blessing and loving you. Now, give me your heart. Place in my hands those burdens that weigh heavily on your faith and dreams. Surrender the anxieties that cause you to question my love. You no longer need to endure the mental storms that bring despair. Do not let the winds of discouragement sweep you into the alleys of anguish. Whose voice will you heed? Will it be the whispers of defeat, or will it be my voice? which speaks to you with infinite love. You are not meant to crawl through despair. I have shown you time and again that if you trust in my word, I will fling wide the gates of heaven for you. You are my child, destined not to dwell in darkness, but to walk in light. My spirit is always with you, comforting you wherever you may be. This moment is no coincidence. I see the struggles that have scarred you, the pain inflicted by past enemies, and the lingering hurts. But today, I am here to rescue you from that agony. If you choose to accept me, I am ready to lift you on my wings and shelter you beneath my shadow. Listen closely, absorb these words, believe in what I tell you. I do not wish for you to suffer any longer. What you experience now is not a result of my wrath or punishment. It is simply part of life. My love for you is everlasting, unwavering. Understand that I am here to definitively elevate you, to heal your despair, and to lead you out of perceived failures. It's time to stand and walk towards the blessings I have for you, even if you still feel weary, even if your heart bears scars and pain. Step forward in faith. Trust in me once more. For the moment you choose to believe, miraculous healing will be yours. With every step forward, you will find renewed strength and complete restoration. Rise now because your life is about to transform. Tomorrow, everything will change. Do you know why? Because I cherish you deeply. You must trust in my words and turn away from those who speak against you. From your earliest days, there have been those who sought to steal your bravery and shatter your confidence with their empty insults and loud accusations. Do not be intimidated by their malicious attacks, regardless of what they say or do. I am your protector, shielding you with my powerful hand. I will elevate you, setting you above those who doubted and disparaged you, even those who wished for your downfall. But I have plans to prosper you, to open doors that no one can shut, to fill your life with miracles, and to bless your family with wonders. You have endured many days of humiliation, but hear my declaration today. This is the end of your sorrow. Ahead are beautiful moments of joy for you and your loved ones. Believe in me. Do not falter. The envious will strike again. But you, brimming with faith and infused with hope, will declare, My God is with me like a mighty giant. Under his shadow I thrive. He is my rock and fortress. I am a conqueror through the mighty blood of Christ. I am a child of the Almighty God, and he commands his angels to guard me and shield me from all harm. He is my healer, my provider, my good shepherd, my loyal friend, and I shall want for nothing. My steps will joyfully tread his paths 
and I will not deviate. I will not be brought low. I will banish negative thoughts from my mind. I am assured of God's love, for He has loved me even before my birth, and will love me eternally. His love is unchanging. It was, is, and always will be steadfast. Amen.